Hi guys, welcome back to another video on Next.js 13. I'll be talking about search engine optimization using metadata. I'll be using an example of this blog application, which I have created in my one of previous videos using the Strapi framework CMS. So if I show you this, this is the last video which I have created and I'm using the same example to add the metadata. Along with that, you can see that I've created pretty much videos on every topic that would require you to become a good Next.js 13 developer so you guys can see there are a lot of videos and I would request you guys to subscribe my channel it will really encourage me to make more videos for you guys so in this app I will be adding meta tags in my home route in about page and also on these dynamic routes and I will show you how we can add the open graph meta tags for the Twitter Facebook and social media sharing so this is the project for the blog application I just showed you and if we go to the layout.tsx file you will see that this particular code will be by default added in this particular file and what it does is create next tab is actually showing at the top in the tab bar and if I go to the inspect element I am going to open up this head and here you will see that it will have this title and also this is the description for the meta tag already added so this is pretty straightforward if i want to add it this like the home page it will be automatically updated for the title of the page let me refresh you can see it has been updated and it will be automatically added over here as well now let's say that we have more pages in next.js application just like i've added this about page page.jsx file and uh, I can navigate to this about page over here currently just showing the text but the purpose is to add the meta tags so how can I add the different titles and the description for this particular page so this is the component functional component and if I want to add the meta tag next yes provide us this particular export function and it has to be with the same name which I'm writing you cannot change its name if I write meta tag in small letter it will be automatically detected by Next.js so I can write the about page uh, strappy okay and then I'm going to add description about page description okay so this has been added now if I go over here you will see that the title of this page have been updated with the same text which I've written over here and uh, if I go to this one you can see that the description and the title have been added over here so it means that whenever we add a new route in our app directory we have to create the page.jsx or tsx file and in that file we can write our title and description over here now it's time to add the meta tags in our dynamic page we cannot directly add the title and description because the values of this blogs or any other dynamic page will be different it will be having a different title it will be having a different description and if we want to share this blog on the social media we want the title description and the image to be loaded on the social media so that users can click on it so i'll be adding the open graph meta tags as well like the twitter or og meta tags okay so let's open up this page we have this page.tsx which is dynamic and uh, if i want to add the meta tags over here first of all i need to use a built-in function called generate meta tag which is by default added in next.js 13 so here you can see that i'm calling this particular function by passing an id which i'm fetching from the url params and i'm calling this api of the strap pcms and i'm returning the response for the blog to load the data okay but if i go to this web app you will see that it will automatically show the home page as the title and the description of the layout file which is by default added it means that if we don't have the title description og meta tags added in any of other routes it will be automatically being fetched from the layout file but we don't want that we want to dynamically load the title and description for this particular dynamic page okay so first of all i'm going to add the function which i have just explained you so i'm going to add export async function generate metadata okay you cannot change its name so first of all i will be actually receiving the params within an object and it will be of type params id of type string okay we can have a number since uh, you can see that 
I'm adding a number but it's a good practice to add a string over here because we are fetching an ID from the URL using the params okay and this particular function is going to return a promise of metadata so I can write the promise metadata okay and you can import this from this next okay I don't need the resolve metadata for now okay so it's giving an error because I'm not returning anything first of all let's add this object an empty object so it will be returning the title description and then it is going to return the open graph with an object of images of an array now I need to dynamically fetch the title description and the images for this dynamic blog and as you can see that this is the function which I'm calling from the main component and I can call the same function to fetch the data of this particular blog okay so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to call that function and I can write the fetch blog params dot id okay so this is going to return me the title and the title will be coming from this particular object okay so I can paste it over here and I can write the description over here like this and I need to change the description to it okay and then I will be adding the image URL which I'm already adding in my component so I can paste it over here all right so let me replace it quickly the title description and then the image URL so let me go to the browser and test if the title description and image URL is being loaded so let me refresh this particular URL and uh, I'm gonna open up this head and here you can see that it is loading the title it is loading the description and it should load the og colon image meta tag it is loading the twitter colon card and it is loading the twitter images as well so this open graph is automatically going to add the og and the twitter meta tags in my head element now next yes documentation also recommend me to add the previous images array over here as well so to add that first of all i'm going to come over here add the comma and I'm going to add the parent and I'm going to add the resolving metadata and it will be imported above from the next and using this parent variable I can fetch that previous images so I can write the previous images equals to await parent and uh, dot open graph dot images or empty array okay so now I can actually copy it and add it over here dot 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 previous images spread operator so it will work fine and I'm gonna go to the browser let's refresh and it will work fine as before and uh, now one thing you might be thinking over here that here we have the fetch blog function which is being called from this function as well as from this blog page as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make it optimized but in latest version if you are using fetch it will be automatically optimized in next year's 13.5 or the latest versions but in case if you are using the old version this is how you can more optimize it so first of all I'm going to convert it into the arrow functions so I'm going to write the const fetch blog equals to and here I'm going to add the cache from the react and inside the cache I can write the async and then the ID like this okay so let me save it there seems some kind of brackets error over here so I need to wrap it over here okay so now this is going to get called from the generate metadata function as well as from the blog page function so it will work as before if I go to my browser let's refresh and now if I go to the head you will see that here it will showing the title description let me go and open up another blog from here so I'm going to open up this one 
and it is showing the different title description and the different URL for the images. And now if I want to share this particular URL on any social media, this image, the title and the description will be loaded in the card wherever I'm sharing this particular dynamic URL. Okay. So guys, you can see that this is how we can add and set up the metadata in our static as well as the dynamic routes in our next year's 13 application and this will improve the search engine optimization of your project so guys that's pretty much it see you in the next video thank you so much for watching do subscribe my channel and like this video